What's going on? Everybody. What's going on? Everybody. What's going on? On everybody, it's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all, is having a blessed day today, man. Today, do a little something different. You feel me? Uh, I should start. I should do a start calling this series. I should just start a new series and call it What Diesel because I am at Burlington. Ooh. Hey, what year did they drop the coat factory off of that guy? Used to be Burlington's coat factory. Now it's just Burlington. You feel me? This might be this this vlog might be strictly just me doing commentary over sh trash shoes, bro. So get ready for it. If you don't want to see that, you can you can wait for the next hype release video or mall vlog or they had. I can't believe they had all these gyms out here because. Nine times I ain't gonna catch no. I haven't caught a gym in Burlington or Ross. I'm gonna go to Ross too. Matter of fact, Ross right down the street. I haven't caught any gyms in a long time. Last thing I caught at Ross was they had them size thousands, size 15 to 16s, 18s, and those Jordan One uh, True Blues. That that's the last thing I ever saw. I even saw in these stores like this. And uh, Burlington, oh, that just threw me off. Them, she looked just like her. They lady that just got a car right here. She looked just like that lady. That you got, they got the same hairstyle and everything. Wow, I will. I will show people on my video, man. But y'all, y'all be like, hell no. Nah. It just twins just got our two separate car. Uh, anyway, <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna be um showing a couple of little uh, kicks. If we find a gym, that'll be the icing on the cake. I have a thumbnail to post, but I have nothing to, to make y'all come to this thumbnail. Um, if they gonna have number track can water shoes in here, so just left out the house. I went and got me something. I should have did a, a sh uh, food review. Because um, I just got some of these Popeyes. Uh, they got these wings with these different flavors. And I got uh, garlic parmesan. Is it garlic parmesan? Or parmesan something. And then the other one is uh, honey barbecue. And they got it on the wings. Bussin! Bussin! You feel <laughs> Bussin! I should have did a, a, a food review. But I just... I just ate like half of it and I was like, man, you know what? I ain't got no video to put up today. So let me go over here and see what's going on in these, in these uh, side places that I ain't been to in a long time. I just did a vlog at the mall yesterday. I just did a, um, I just did a uh, outlet vlog day before that. So uh, today we're doing, we're doing trash can water shoe. But look, let me tell you something. Them Jordan 18s that busted yesterday, it broke my heart a little bit, but at the same time, I was prepared for it. Everybody who had a Jordan 18. Now, I did buy those. I did buy the retro to that shoe back in 2018. They did retro. Because a lot of people in the comments, you can tell they don't even realize that that shoe retro. It did retro back in 2018. I bought the shoe, and I just looked at all these shoes. I was buying a lot of shoes in 2018. Oh, my goodness. I probably had 4,000. I mean, not 4,000. I probably had 400 pair in 2018. And I had did these big shoe sales back to back. If y'all can remember, I did like, I was just doing selling like half of my collection back then. And um, those just, I had to make them walk the plank. I should have kept them though, because it is a, it is kind of a rare shoe. It was a quick strike. So it went a lot of pairs that dropped and I had hit those on uh, sneakers app. I think that was a sneakers out win. So I should have kept that shoe because like I said, my boy, he uh, sent me those 2003, 2002 pairs for free. They, they came with a towel and a little brush and all that, the original, the OG. So, but I just didn't wear them. I, I had them, I, he, he sent me those in 2018. It was like right after, so I was like, it must be meant to be. It was like right after I sold the retro, he sent me the OG pair. So I was like, cool. I still got the shoe and I ain't tripping. But I just keep seeing over time, anybody who wear those shoes, say so they start, that little blue little midsole stuff start crumbling and they, they detached. And I, I didn't realize it. Until I was walking out the mall, shout I walked out the mall and I was like, these shoes were so snug and comfortable. Now they feel like they just loose for some reason. Like something broke broke open. And then that's when I looked down at my feet and was like, damn. And that's when I showed y'all the shoe being busted over. Look at on my IG too. Read the comments on my IG under that post. Everybody talking about wear your shoes. And I said, I'm you know, I, I agree, you need to wear your shoe, but y'all act like I had those shoes since 2020. I got those shoes in 2018. You feel me? It was I was supposed to just keep them for like a display piece to show I got the OGs, but I, today, I mean yesterday, I decided to wear them and what happened happened. 
So RIP to those shoes. Anyway, they're going to Burlington Coat. I mean, I call it Burlington's. Hey, I still ain't used to not saying Burlington Coat Factory. They're going here and see what they got going on. Do it. Are you not entertained? Anyway, <laughs> I talked five minutes in the beginning of the video. Hope y'all still here, so I ain't realized it. Anyway, Air Max. 95, like I said, run out the house. I, I be, these my Beatles right here. I be rocking hell out of these, but I need me another pair, son. I need me another pair. Oh. You know, I got a pants in there, too. I bought, these, I bought these pants back when I bought these shoes a few years ago. I kind of like them, though, man. Got the little dark gray vibes going on, the light gray. Got the, the solar red, you know what I'm saying? Cleansed, in my humble opinion. I am always speak on the weather. Just a couple of days ago, you had to have on a uh, puff coat, sweater, Long johns and everything, it was real cold. Now, I got on a t-shirt and I feel fine. It's like 68 degrees out here. It's like, it's perfect in the wind blowing and stuff. It's, it's balmy, man, you talking about? <laughs> anyway, Burlington's, see what they got going. I wonder if it still smell like mothballs. I know a lot of times you walk in here and it smell like uh, the grandma, grandmama basement or whatever. Let's see, let's see what they got going. Still got that smell and it's automatically like dark when you walk in here. It's just like, it has this brownish, tent department store tent that go over the whole store and they got a whole they got a whole uh kiosk of fierro ferrero rocher chocolates it just seemed like when you buy food out of place like that it'd be old or something i don't know yeah <laughs> have you then they got plethoras upon plethoras virtual cornucopias of colognes man I'm telling you man Christmas season come around, man. Folk come in here and just be like, ooh, this would be good for my grandbaby. That, that'd be that type of stuff, bro. Look at this. It's just a random Rolex. I thought that John said Armani at first. That John said Armatron. <laughs> oh, it's green. Oh, okay, man. This one says Caribbean Joe, man. It's kind of fresh. I ain't mad at it. I don't know how long it'll last, but well, this one come with a bracelet. <laughs> Right, Sonic the Hedgehog guy. I get that for Harley if she went, um, she ain't really into Sonic though. If it ain't super girly, she don't mess with it. Super Mario guy. Oh, that's cool. A little spin action going on. Oh, look at this. If you meet a chick and she got her one of these, when you go on, <laughs> I'm gonna set up the scenario. First date, did meet the chick. Y'all, first date, you see she got one of these. What's your next move? What kind of what kind of girl she is? What, what what would you automatically assume her characteristics and her goals in life are? <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> See, here we go with the food again. What the hell this is? Baduco bread. Oh, vanilla. It's like a pound cake. What is it? Mm mm. Ain't eating nothing. Not no damn Burlington. I'm Gucci. I ain't gonna count though. These do be busting. Just a regular kind. I don't know about the strawberry and all that, but yeah, these these do be busting. They, they can't stay in my house, bro. It'd be over with. I was gonna just go pad the clothes. I think I am. They don't. They still have DK and Y. They be still having all uh, like, uh, what's that Echo and stuff like. Look at their fur coats, right? Hey, triple goose, wombat. Hey, you talking about? Y'all nah, mess with it. I wonder how much it costs. I'm very, I'm very curious at this point. Twenty four ninety nine. The haters will say it's fake. The haters will say it ain't, it ain't that black possum. You be <laughs> that chinchilla ain't you talking about? I, I need me an ugly Christmas shirt, man. This is vibes. Got the Santa all over it. You know what I'm saying? Let it be supreme or something though. Let it be supreme. That's too late. Oh, kids okay? Oh. Anyway, that's the close they get to my side right there, that extra large. I probably still I gotta do a two X and button up shirt. I'ma stop playing and go to the shoes, man. Hey right, boy, what kind of disaster we finna see over here? Got some trail stompers right there. I don't know what them is. Crazy thing about it is most of this stuff be an actual name brand. It ain't like it's bootleg stuff, but hey, man. I don't know. I might take some bootlegs over this stuff. Look at them free lie down there. Trash. Adidas. What these is, Adidas? I said forget it and put the three stripes across the front of these hole, boy. You got to be careful with your hands, though. You got to really keep your hands sanitized because some of everybody be touching these shoes. Kids, which not on they know all that junk. You got to be careful. But they got Boost, though. They got Boost. Remember when Boost, remember when Boost was the thing, though? Know? Remember when if they had Boost on it, it was hard? Y'all rocking? It is basketball? It says, Ada. Is it Adidas? Wait a minute. Is this Adidas? This might not be Adidas. It is Adidas. It say Boost on the back. It got to be Adidas. That don't look like an Adidas logo, though. 
Am I missing something? Okay, they are Adidas. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, I know I'm tripping. I, is that Young? Is Trey Youngs? These Trey Youngs right here. Oh, okay then. Yeah, I knew that was Adidas. I was that was a, a blatant ripoff of Adidas if it went. That's some red ones too. Oh, they got plethora of colorways in them, guy. Wait a minute, man. Wait a minute. Either phone Medita, go, guy. Something different. Some, some, some different. Hold up. Put the tags down the inside. Oh hell no. <laughs> but what is it? American Exchange guy, boy. You got me. You got me. Shot. I thought he was a Dita, man. Hey, hey, man. If you rock these, I ain't even mad at you, boy. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even be able to tell. American extended 20. The dub ski. What's wrong with you? Get you a pair. Y'all ain't gonna get me this time. Ain't no way in the hell these no Yeezy. Y'all ain't gonna get me this time, shut It ain't even got no name on these, man. What did what did it say? What did it say? Oh, that's another coexist. Yeah. That's about right, because these definitely coexist with the actual Yeezy slide. I think this, I think this Yeezy slide might be the most replicated shoe. Like going right now, bro. Like because they they steal the whole design and don't, design and don't change nothing. I mean something something is different, but like I see like I see when I see so many people wearing these, I be like, bro, it don't even matter if they real or fake, bro. It, it's the same thing. It's just foam. Damn, damn Jay Z. Damn Jay Z, did you sign off on E Jigger? If you watching the video, did you sign off on E? Did you have anything to do with the production? I mean. I don't know. Shout out, it might be the first Nike I done seen in here. It's an ant bed stumper size. I'm talking about, what size is this? This is a size 17. Got a size 17. Clump clumpers. Yeah, what well, you rocking these two? These basketball shoes, huh? Gotcha. So, bro, I thought he was some Tim's at first. I thought it was some Tim, man, but, uh, I mean, you got the trees. They, they not quite the Tim, these like pine trees. Yeah, these these are like pine trees. They they call uh, GH back like this. <laughs> they look, they guy just asked me, little Mexican dude. He was like, he said, "Are those Timberlands?" And then he looked at the tree and he was like, "Nah, them ain't Timberlands." <laughs> hey, he 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 caught on to it quick, just like I did, bro. Ooh, what's the destination, boy? Where you rocking them to? Like Calvin Klein tap shoe. Hey, Tommy. <laughs> Let me get the hell out of here. Yeah, bro. Like, these folks know their brand, though. It's like OG, OG Mexican cat, which I was just talking to, bro. Like, he know his brands, bro. He definitely know his brands. Like, he was talking about another shoe. Like, he was trying to, he in here trying to catch the gems, man. You feel me? Even though it ain't, you know, it's slim pickings. Them, I, I keep seeing those, but yeah. Trying to catch the gems in that guy. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't going to fall for the, for the BS. Everybody ain't gonna fall for the track can water. Remember when Kanye was bringing out some shoes that looked similar to this? And they were like reselling and stuff like that, man. Come on, son. They OG though. OG vibes, but I'm good. I'm good on those. Uh oh. Boy, I got the starter four Air Jordan 4. Point, Air Jordan 5. There we go. Man, Starter, Starter actually had a really good name, man. But they need to stick to what they good at, man. Make them, make them sports jackets, man, and them, and them cook, them pullover coats and stuff like they used to make in the nineties, man. Don't start making stuff like that. I don't know. They might make money off of this. Like I said, I don't know their business model. These folk could be making money out there, but I'm just going by the history that I, that I used to mess with with Starter. These, 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 these ain't it. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. Boy, when good, you'll start making shoes. Boy, what these here? Boy, still, I know they still told. Good years, woof. Boy, you can drop a house on these guy, but your toe gonna be intact. He ain't talking about more got the ties around the heel of these guys. <laughs> the heel is literally made out of tire tread, boy. What you talking about? Durable, these is gonna last you forever. These shoes, these shoes gonna be around long after you die old age, bro. Like for real, good year guy. Boy, what you saying? With the good, boy, these are collab with they self. Cause they literally just only made by good, good year. So ten and a half. What the price is? What the price? What they talking about? Got a good year tag on there, boy. Work and safety. And the price is thirty two dollars, boy. 
ain't gonna care. I might med with, I might med with, med with them they had my side for work. Bro, so what y'all did with all y'all old champion stuff? Because y'all damn so ain't winning. I ain't seen y'all rocking under the champion no more, bro. It's too it. That's my side, man. So what happened to it, Shadi? What you do with all your old champion stuff? Don't say you ain't winning because we seen the trends. I was rocking mine, too. I got a couple shirts, man. You feel me? But what y'all doing with it? Because it, it made a little climb going be starting to see it in Foot Locker and all that. You don't even see it in them spots no more. This one kind of hard, though. I ain't capping. But I'm just saying, though, what y'all doing with it? Because I know y'all ain't winning. I don't see you with it on. I don't see you with it on. Champion action. What happened? It's back in Burlington. It's soon to be back in Walmart. Shout out to Champion, man, for having that little comeback. But it was a little swift little comeback. But, but what y'all doing with y'all that y'all spend all that money on, man? What the Champion shirts at? Like, I'm going to head out because I can literally walk around this whole store and uh, commentate on stuff in here. But it ain't got nothing to do with sneakers, so I'm going to go head out. But I would usually, what I probably would do is start doing a little video like this and put it on my other channel. You know what I'm saying? A little lifestyle action. But I don't know. Let's get out of here, man, because the smell's starting to give me a headache a little bit. There you go. All right, matey. Ross, dress for less. Bruh, I remember one time, man, I found, let's get out of the car, shot. Uh, I don't want to hit nobody else. All right. Man, so anyway, I remember when I found some limited edition or special edition SB Dunk Lows, and I had no idea what the shoe was. Still, I don't really know about dunks like that. I gave that shoe away. I think I gave it away. I don't know, you know if I sold it. I, I bought it for like $20, $29, $30 in here, and I just gave the shoe away. I just seen that shoe reselling. I think somebody sent it to me because they remember the video. That shoe was reselling for like $900, to twelve hundred dollars, depending on the size. At like a size eight or something. I ain't know, man. Like I said, if I would have known, probably could have made a couple of dollars off them thing, man. Anyway, I doubt I'm gonna find something like that in here today because people have caught on. I will say that the smell is a whole lot fresher in here. So um, uh, Ross got Burlington beat in the smell department. I think this Ross just might be way newer in that Burlington, but man, that thing smell like mothball. Uh-oh, Carhartt t-shirt. Might have to get it. I love the way Carhartt t-shirts fit. What size is this? It's a, dang, it's a large. This don't look like I could wear. <laughs> it's all big, bro. It's a loose fit. I still want to at least go with an XL, though. I don't know if I like that green, either. But that, these shirts right here, they're so comfortable, bro. I wonder if they got any in my side. If I see more than one, I know I'll be able to find my, uh-oh. There's another one. That's an extra large, bam, got it. How much they want for it? $10. Oh, that's a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer. See, sometimes you'll find something, Shadi. Now, do I want to wait in this long ass line over here? Whew. It go all the way back though. For a, t for a $10 car or a t-shirt? I don't know. I might have to find some more. This car hurt too? Nope, that's not a car. Damn. All right, Tom Brady. Tom Brady guy. He got, he got, he got a ring with them boy though. Ain't nothing wrong with it. If you understand being a Falcons fan and my disdain for that guy, Tom Brady, you would know what's happening. Can't stand him. Don't like him. Respect him. What these is? Whew. Man, I feel like, what these is? Polo, what these is, Polo? What these is? Buy the TurboGrafx-16, boy. These things do some crazy stuff, boy. It's a button on here somewhere, somewhere that make these shoes transform. It gotta be. All right, Shotta, real quick. If you got to wear this Carhartt shirt, what shoes you rocking it with? If you're trying to wear it casually and put it with a fit, what shoe you rocking it with? Let me know. Y'all can't tell by looking at it, but it's kind of pine green. And it's kind of going with them HB fold. I'm just saying. So I guess these are just popular amongst uh, department stores. Got an iPhone case right there. Okay. But yeah, I guess these are popular. Well, they got some more down there. They got some Grinches. Might get them for the house. You're a mean one. Bro, look at these Doc Martin boots, bro. What the hell? What the space heck? Boots. <laughs> yeah, either space boots or you can like climb up walls or something. Yeah. Magnetized hey, or something. What's, what's those boots that Magneto had? <laughs> <laughs> Magneto <laughs> boots. I should, I should send you a picture of these joints. Crazy. Up, like, these I don't know how to feel about these. I do not know how to feel about these. I don't feel any kind of way, you know? 
I mean, the way that they, but you, like, the one thing you can say, you know, the basketball players, when they, uh, when they come into the uh, court, and they like to carry their shoes by the, by the back of them. That's, that's perfect for them, man. I don't know. Who rocking knee? Who rocking knee? Good, good material, though. I ain't mad at them. And while I'm playing, he might be just the best shoes in here. I don't know. Let's let's keep looking. Oh, there go some flyies. The ones that you just don't you don't they like come up like where, where is it? Don't don't they break in half or something? Let me see. There we go. See, you just, you just put your foot in them. No hassle. Boom. You in there? Fly ease for fifty dollars though. Come on, Ross. Know your place. Just know your play. So I guess Doc Martin, Doc Martin <laughs> just in love with this outsole. They must have got a lot of the outsole just chilling in the warehouse. They're like, we're going to slap them on plethoras. They might got some slides with these bottoms on. <laughs> some fresh ass little Adidas right here. Top 10 guy, man. With the furry, uh, furry, uh, I'm going to say swoosh stripes on them. What are you talking about? We got these Adidas too, these Adidas. That on the inside, it's supposed to be like that. Yo, it's supposed to be like that. Okay, then. In the infamous U.S. Polo Association, or assassination, as we used to say back in the day. <laughs> Whoa, get your pill. I don't got one horse this time. You got multiple horses. Or is that something else I'm thinking about? I don't know. Oh, it is multiple horses. It's him, and it's somebody behind him. Okay, then. Oh, the downfall of true religion. <sighs> pair of true religion pants for 13 bucks. The downfall of true. I actually wear these though. This is my side. Uh, lounge wear, extra large. It is my side. Just wear around the house, man. $12, true religions. Wear around the crib. Mmm, I might grab these. True guy. Hey, you talking about? Would y'all do it? But these champion hoodies right here was ruling the nation for a hot year and a half, man. Believe it. Oh, yeah, I might have to get this one. That ain't my size. Not my size. Griswold Family Christmas, bro. That movie is a classic, and it's hilarious, and it's $20. Let me find this in my size. That what I'm wearing on Christmas. Find this in my size. That what I'm wearing. Right, though. So, the Griswold. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad I saw the echo. See, I couldn't leave without... Then it's a vest with a hood on it. A vest with a hood on that guy. Well, I'm glad I saw the echo because I knew I was going to see it. I just, you know what I'm saying? Now you know you're going to see something. And then when you see it, you be like, Daddy, he you talking about. Yeah, well, man, so what y'all think about this episode of Tray Can Water, a.k.a. What these is? Uh, <laughs> let me show y'all what I bought. Okay. I, I was just in the mood of buying something, I guess. But I do be needing these little, these Carhartt shirts. These are some of the most comfortable, good quality shirts. They were $10 a piece, man. The regular price was, uh, say, $15. I feel like it was more than that. I feel like I paid like $25 for these out of uh, Academy Sports. Um, or is it Dick Sporting Good? One of them. But uh, Carhartt Tees, man, they always come in hand. I got a black, and y'all know I got that pine green. This ain't really pine green. I don't know. It might drip with the pine green. You know what I'm saying? But even if I don't wear these with no fit, I just like throwing them on to make my little runs and stuff. Super, super comfortable. You get older, man. You start going after that that comfortable feel more than anything, man. I think I just threw them shirts in the back seat. I ain't feel like, I ain't um, realize I did that. So anyway, while I was in line, <laughs> this is how you know you're just spending money. When I was in line, bro, I saw this jelly bean little bubble gum, and I just said I wouldn't buy no food out of these department stores, but I looked at the uh, expiration date. It's actually June 30th, 2025, so we got a good... Uh, year and a half two years left on this i don't even know if my daughter like jelly beans but i got the jelly bean little gumball machine i don't know i don't know a little plastic gumball machine maybe she might like it it was like four dollars i think um and then i bought this nike this small i be wanting cold water just by me all the time and i got like the big canisters and stuff but when i'm in the house just chilling and i just want to keep my water cold i have to keep run to the refrigerator or put ice in it and stuff like that the fact that it's nike I mean, it fit the drip a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Got the little top with the Nike uh, logo on it and stuff like that. Make sure I wash it out real good. You know what I'm telling how many people hands done been on this thing. Little Nike swoosh right there. Canister guy. Original price was $34. Who the hell would pay $34 for this? 
I paid twelve ninety nine. I was like, man, I'm spending way too much money just because it's Nike. But who would pay thirty? It says Chuck stainless steel, twelve ounces. It's only got twelve ounces. This wash is safe. Wash before use. I'm definitely gonna wash before for you. Not intended. Not intended for hot liquids. I thought these things be good for hot and cold. I'm gonna use it for cold anyway. Anyway, I want a cold glass of water. Look no further than my little Nike canister. Only God knows if I've used any of this stuff. And like I said, I showed y'all the uh, showed y'all these in here. I went and got them, man. Went and got the Grinch slipper. Slide, size large for size 11 and size 12 men's slippers. Wear these all throughout Christmas time and be real comfortable around the house, man. Just a little holiday spirit. You know what I'm saying? He's a mean one. Face ass. You know what I'm saying? That's the bottoms right there. A little slip resistant. <laughs> Actually going on. Um, and I bought, I paid nine dollars for these, so you know what I mean. I mean, I mean, ten bucks, man. I mean, just, just a little something. This some sweater, the last thing, man. This sweater, I saw it uh, when I before I was leaving out. I saw it. I said, bro, that yellow sweater look a little comfortable, man. You know what I'm saying? Hoodie action, you feel me? Uh, retail on this is sixty dollars. I realized when I saw it, the cut was a little different. I said, and I looked on the tag, and it was a women's, so. Um, still with this this size and this price, I got it for my wife. Original price was sixty dollars. I paid twenty two bucks for it for the wife. You know she got all the shoes with the yellow in it and stuff like that. So nice little Nike, comfortable Nike hit it for my wife, man. You know that's it, man. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I bought all this stuff, stuff for like sixty five dollars. So everything was like sixty five dollars. So anyway, quick little Ross. Uh, I didn't do TJ Maxx today. I just did Ross in Burlington. Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think of some of these department stores around Christmas time. And I know y'all ain't really got no words on them trash can water ass shoes and uh, some of them fake Yeezy slides and stuff like that. I don't know. Comment below about anything you saw in this video, whether you liked it, you hated it, you thought it was funny. Comment below. And as always, I appreciate y'all for watching Rich Nation. Hit the thumbs up. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them. About to go back home and watch some of these football games man y'all keep watching my video because that's what i'm good because that's what i'm good because that's what i'm here for Gone. yeah watch me so stupid the dara check out my kiss on the para rich like a king of fairy yeah yeah air capitan they calling me jet like i'm sparrow east atlanta in my blood the streets got me twin like tia to mary yeah watch out with the camera stay out my lane is too narrow God more, God more, staying blessed. I'm keeping my eye on the sparrow. Man of the people you did, they singing my name just like it's a carol. Cause my got the juice by the barrier. Yeah. I can't really help it, bro. They know that I'm the ish. Yeah. Get me boss of sauce and might just pull up right at wish. Yeah. LBRG me, now I'm Gucci. Gucci. Bricks. But when I step out, bus, 10 for 10. I don't miss rich. Step up, boys, 10 for 10, I don't miss. We